Hi, it's Trace. So today our workout is going to be an absolutely amazing upper body workout. So we're really gonna put a lot of focus on your arms and your back, but also I made sure to incorporate some torso moves so that we're toning your total upper body. So you are definitely gonna feel this in your deltoids, your shoulders, also in your triceps, and especially in the back. So I hope that you love this workout and make sure for best results to go through this cycle three times through. Okay, so let's get started with the warm up. So just circle your shoulders back here, warming up the body nice and easy here. Good. And now circle your arms backwards. Good. Getting those shoulders ready to roll. And then circle forward. Good. Moving our torso. And then just crossing your arms. Now, if you need a longer warm up than this, go for it. Good. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Bring your arms up into a V, pull down. Eight of these, and three. Good, keep going. And five, do this with intention, squeezing those muscles. Good, now pull down to the back, so your elbows are going more behind you here. So you're really feeling those back muscles working. And seven, good. So now push out, getting into the torso, really with intention with that arm. I like to keep my hand on my belly so that I make sure I'm working those abs. Good, now go up and down, push up and down, that's it. And three, keep on going. And four, you got it, nice. Woo. Oh. And six, I did a lot of abs this week, so I'm really feeling this. Let's do the other side. So push out and out, out. Good, really use intention with that arm here. Good, and now push up and down. Push it up and down, that's it. So make sure that your mind is in it. Good, almost there. Excellent, so now you're gonna do it like a little crunch. So crunch, really crunch. So your arm stays in your back here. Notice I'm not moving my arm, but I'm really using some force here, almost like I'm throwing myself forward, okay? And good, then from that crunch, you're gonna take your arm back, press up, working that tricep, that back wing. We don't have back wings. And good, press it up. So now draw like, a, almost like a go up and out, up and in, I don't know. I wanna say that's a W, but it's probably not a W. That would be like a V, hello. <laughs> and up, you got it. And five, really press it up. The more height you keep with the arm here, the better. I'm feeling the back of my arms burning, are you? And last one, okay good, do that crunch on the other side, crunch. So see how I'm really kind of throwing myself forward here, okay? Pull in those abs so you protect your back. That's it, good. So now press that arm up, push it up. Really press up, palms face up to the ceiling here. Squeeze, squeeze that tricep. Now go into that V, up and in, and up and in, that's it. Oh, good, really press up with that intention. Here, make sure that you're not lifting that shoulder, okay, keep it down. Two more, and last one. Okay, good, so arms out to the side, press down. And two, three, that's it. Four, really move those hips. And six, keep those arms straight and energized. Good, now pulse down to one side, elbow towards your hip, squeeze. So you're really gonna feel your waist here, right? And six, that's it. Good, let's do another set of these, pressing down, and four. I love workouts like this because you don't need anything. You don't even need a mat. So how good is that? No excuse. Good, so now press it down, elbow to your hip. Really squeeze, squeeze the waist. Oof, that's it. And seven. Okay, good, so now you're gonna bring your elbows together, then press back, chest goes slightly forward. In, you kind of lean back a little bit, press. So it's like you're busting through here. In and out, good, five, press, really squeeze. Keep the height in those arms. Now if you're like me, you're probably starting to feel those arms and shoulders, right? And six, 
seven. And last one. Okay, good. So get your body just straight up. Press back now. Press. Three. Oh, mama mia, right? You're feeling it. Five. And seven. Good. Now press up. One arm. Up, up, and back. Up. Five. Whoa. Six. You got it. Seven. And last one. Okay, good. So now press both arms up. Both arms up. Two. And out. Up. And out. So it's just like what we were doing with a single arm, but now with both. And five. Really press up without scrunching your shoulders to your neck. I can't stress that enough because then you're going to email me and say, this hurts my neck. It's not supposed to hurt your neck, okay? And seven. And last one. Stay out there. Press up and out. Up. Oh, three. Come on. Four. Five. Yikes. Seven. Good. In close to your body. Last one here. I'm sweating. Three. A little bit. And five. Pull in your abs. Seven. Nine. Just for good measure here. Press those arms out to the side and hold. Release your shoulders. Stretch those fingers wide. Palms face forward, hold, feel that stretch. Palms face up, hold, feel that stretch. Pinkies up, feel that stretch, and pulse up. Two, I know, three, you hate me, four, five, six, seven. Good, hold here, hold, squeeze up a little higher, and relax, and then circle those shoulders back. Excellent, excellent. So go through that cycle. Do that three times through, okay? Make sure that you leave me a comment below and let me know that you did this arm challenge. And also, make sure to join me over at tracycampoli.com. That's where I share so much more than fitness. We have lifestyle, recipes, tips, and lots of love for my community. So I will see you over at tracycampoli.com. Okay, bye.